hello everybody welcome to linux help tutorial today i am going to show how to install php list in centos 6.7 php list is a open source and popular newsletter system designed for dissemination information such as newsletter news managing email subscriber and more option let me see how to install this php list before installing this php list you should install lamp setup in your linux machine i am already installed apache and mysql i am going to install now php this is the command to install the php package after under this command hit enter now press y to continue now the package will be installed after installing the PHP package, I will start the HTTP service and MySQL service. So I am going to start the HTTP service. It will be started. Again, I am going to start the MySQL service. So hit enter now. So it will be started. Now next I am going to download the php list package by using wget and this is the command wget i am going to download the php list package so after under this command hit enter now now it started for downloading now the php list package will be downloaded the file type of php was tar file so after this command hit enter now now the extraction will be completed now go to that extracted directory list the directory now so here public html is there go to that public html directory now list the directory again so here list will be presented now copy this list directory into web root directory where www.html so after under this command hit enter now after copying that list into web root directory now log in your mysql now log in into your mysql server hit enter now enter the root password for the mysql server so it will be logged in now I am going to create database in this MySQL server name of the database php underscore db you can give any name so after under this command hit enter now now the database will be created now I have given here grant privilege here so the db is identified by password and also username will be given here after under this command hit enter now now the grant permission will be given to this db next i'm going to flush the privileges press enter now it will be flushed now i'm going to exit this mysql terminal hit enter now it will be quitted now the next step go to that web root directory and also go to that list directory which was presented in that web root directory hit enter now now list this directory here config directory will be is there go to the directory again is the directory go to the config.php file so the configuration file will be opened so enter your db name and the details and also identified details password which was entered in your mysql server now make the changes username db name and password which was entered in that mysql server so now i entered the details here i'm going to replace the zero instead of one now next come to the bounds settings so the defaultly pop is there there is no problem now come here you can make the changes enter that uh, db username and password here 
so I changes I changes my username and password here after done this configuration or save and quit this configuration file now next I am going to change the ownership and permission for this directory which was presented in web root directory now press enter after enter this ch1 command I am going to give the ownership name of apache apache for this list which was presented in web root directory now press enter and also I am going to change the permission for this list which was presented in this web root directory now press enter after enter this command and the permission will be changed if you want to verify means this is the file now the ownership and the permission will be successfully changed for this list directory now next open your browser now clear all browser cache in your browser I am going to clear everything clearing the browser cache now enter your server IP or host name with HTTP protocol and also mention that directory which was present in web root directory this admin was present under this list directory so after enter this statement now press enter now the PHP list will be successfully opened let me see the let me go for the basic settings now press initialize database option here now enter the details asking here now after enter the all details press continue option now it will be initializing now the initialization will be completed if you want to subscribe means press subscribe option you don't need for subscribe means press donate subscribe now press php list setup now first press the logout option now again login by default username is admin now enter the password which was assigned in php list after enter your username and password press continue so i am checking this login whether it will be working or not that's why i log out and again login so now your php list will be successfully login now now you start creating new camp agents and also view camp agents error delete the user and also view the statics and many more options and the features will be available after completed use this php list log out this php list now it will be logged out now this is the simple way to install php list into your linux machine that's all about this tutorial let me see you on another video thank you